Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Viber Fox Studios and today we are going to be working on this really cute little Christmas tree, kind of Christmassy design. It is a multiple of 14 plus 4 at the end and I am going to start out with a starting chain for my project, for my little swatch of 32 chains. So that's two multiples of 14 is 28 plus the 4 chains on the end. If you want to work this in the round so that you can make something like a pillow or a bag, something of that nature, what you guys are going to want to do is only chain the multiple of 14. You will just simply chain 14 over and over as many times as you want to make your project and then join that into the ring. You will then begin working immediately in that very first stitch following the exact repeat that I'm giving in this video. So I'm going to work a flat piece. You guys can follow along making any type of flat project that you would like. Or if you are wanting to do in the round, I'm giving that instruction. I'm not going to teach this in the round. You know, some people are interested in making some kind of holiday bags or baskets or pillows and those are best obviously worked in the round so that's why i'm giving that information we're now going to jump in and work the tutorial we're going to work flat for all of us here so i have 32 chains you're going to chain for whatever project you want to use this for multiple of 14 plus four for a flat piece multiple of 14 only if you're going to work in the round and if you're not familiar with working in the round, I will link some videos down below of in the round tutorials that I've done. And I'm using this marled yarn and it is, I love this yarn. All the information on it will also be down below in the description. So for my color A, I'm gonna be using this off white. We're back and we are moving on to row one now. Now row one is very, very simple. We're gonna be doing a single crochet into the very um, next stitch here. So we always skip one stitch, it's a turning chain, and we're gonna come into the second stitch and do our traditional single crochet, going under that V and pulling up a loop and then finishing out by pulling through two. From here, the rest of this row is going to be worked in the back loop only single crochet. So you're gonna place one back loop only single crochet picking up that one loop and we're going to do that in each and every stitch all the way down this row so you can pause here and meet back up with me when you're ready to finish out the row it's of course going to be a traditional single crochet at the end of the row in the very last stitch so we always want to do that for our border stitches so please pause come back in just a moment row two will be switching over to color a and you will also work a back loop only single crochet in every single stitch. From this point forward in the tutorial, I'll be referring to the back loop only single crochet as just a single crochet. And you know that you're gonna work it in the back loop each and every time. The only time we work under the V and do a traditional single crochet is always in the first and last stitches of the row. So we've just completed row one. As you can see, we've worked a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. And then we have to chain up two and clip our yarn and bind off. Now we're gonna begin row number two. For row two, we're gonna make sure that we're working in the very first stitch, getting into that single crochet. So we wanna make sure we're going under the V before we join on with color A. So we want to just make sure that we're doing it that way so we keep nice, straight, even sides. So now you're going to grab color A. So for me, that's this cream colored yarn. And we're just going to add it on by doing a slip knot. You can draw up your loop. And now we're going to chain one. You'll do this at the beginning of every single row. So chain one. And now we go back down into the same exact stitch and complete our traditional single crochet. Let's drop our loop and grab our yarn and pull through 
all those loops we have there on the hook. So super easy repeat for row two. All we need to do here is the same thing that we did on row one. We're gonna pick up that back loop only and we're going to do, our, we're going to single crochet essentially in every single stitch. We just know that we are always working in the back loop when we're doing our single crochets. And that's what we're gonna do for the entire project. So you can pause here and come meet back up with me when you're ready for row three. We are now beginning row three and for row three, we're gonna be finally doing some mosaic work. So now we're gonna be doing the double crochets which we drop down two rows below or one row below is how some people look at it. But you drop down and you connect to this front loop that is left down on the previous row. So we're gonna work a total of six double crochets to begin the repeat. So we're going to already be joined on with color B, traditional single crochet in that very first stitch. And now we begin doing our double crochets. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around our hook. We're gonna identify our next stitch and we're gonna slide down and pick up this front loop that's left by us doing the back loop only single crochets. So now we're gonna grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Nice loose tension, we don't wanna draw everything up. And then we're gonna grab our yarn again and pull through two, grab our yarn again and pull through two. So we're, that's our first double crochet. So we're gonna continue doing that. We've gotta do a total of six. So there's one, so here's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And last but not least, number six. Now we need to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. So we're just gonna identify our very next stitch, pick up that back loop only, and do our single crochet. So there's one, here's number two, and number three. Now we're going to end our repeat for row three by doing a total of five double crochets over the next five stitches. Slide down. There's one. two, and three, four, Five. That ends our repeat. So let's recap that repeat. We began over here with a total of six double crochets. Then we did three single crochets, five double crochets. So you're just gonna begin again, starting with your six double crochets and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row until you reach the end of your row. So at the end of the row, we'll come back and meet up and we will be doing that together so I can show you guys how to work that row end. So we're here at the end of row three now and we have just completed a repeat. So I have my five double crochets and now I have two stitches left at the end of my row 
and this is going to be the case each and every row end. You're going to end up with two stitches left. So this is how you're going to handle every single row. So for this very next stitch, we're going to start our repeat again. So our repeat in this case starts with a double crochet. So on every row, we are going to start the repeat over for one stitch, and then the last stitch in the row will always be the traditional single crochet. So now we're going to start our repeat. So in this case, repeat begins with a double crochet. So we do our double crochet. And now last stitch in the row always is a traditional single crochet going under that V right there under the V and that ends this row so row three we now chain up two in my case this is how I bind off and we're going to clip our yarn and move on to row number four Row four begins now by joining on with color A, and we're going to be starting our repeat immediately. And that repeat starts by doing six single crochets over these next six stitches. So we're just going to continue to work just as we have been, picking up that back loop. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. Now we are going to do a total of one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, all right here into this little gap that we have. So we're going to do a double crochet. One single crochet right here in this very next stitch. And then one double crochet right here, the very next stitch. Now we're going to end our repeat by doing a total of five single crochets over these next five stitches. Oops, so here's one, two, three, four, and five. That ends our repeat for this row. So row four's repeat began over here when we did a total of six single crochets. Then we did one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and our repeat ends with five single crochet. So you're just going to start your repeat over and keep working in that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of the row. A cheater method for this row is you're doing single crochets on top of all of your double crochets that you have. And then when you get here to this little space that we created, that's where you're going to do your double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. So you're essentially just framing out around the sets of double crochets that we created on the previous row. So you can keep working all the way down, don't really have to think or count. And then we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number five. Row five begins now and we're joining on this time with color B again. So our repeat for row five begins immediately. And we start with a double crochet right here into this very next stitch. So we're just going to wrap our yarn, slide down, and pick up that front loop. Finish out our double crochet. 
Now we're going to do a total of six single crochets over the next six stitches. So we just identify the very next stitch and begin working our single crochets. So there's one, here's two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into that very next stitch. So we're come in here in that little box that we created. We're gonna do our double crochet. Now we're going to end our repeat by doing six single crochets. Right here, very next stitch. There's one, two, three, four. five and six that ends our repeat so our repeat for row number five is double crochet six single crochets double crochet six single crochets so if you keep doing double crochet six single crochets on down the rest of your row your landmark is going to be in the center we're doing a double crochet and then in the box we're doing our double crochet and this row will turn out perfect so the repeat's going to begin again right now and that means i'm doing a double crochet now i do six single crochets one two, three, four, five, and six. Then double crochet right here. And then six more single crochets. So pretty easy little repeat to do on down the rest of your row. And then when you get to the end of the row, you're going to do a double crochet because you will just have ended your repeat. So you're going to do a double crochet in that second to last stitch. And then you will single crochet your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row and that's happening right here for me so we are now going to pause you guys are going to finish out the rest of your row and then we'll meet back up for row number six in just a moment this is what your work's going to be looking like row six begins now by joining on with color a and we're going to begin our repeat for row six immediately. The repeat begins with two single crochets in the next two stitches. So we're going to identify our very next stitch. There's one single crochet. And here is number two. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the very next stitch. Now we will do three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, 
two and three. We need to do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. And our repeat will end with one single crochet in the very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did two single crochets. Then we did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and one single crochet. So you'll begin your repeat again immediately with your two single crochets and keep working that same set of stitches all the way down the row. And then we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number seven. Row number seven begins now. We're going to begin by joining on with color B. And then we're going to begin working our repeat immediately. And our repeat begins for row seven by doing two double crochets in the next two stitches. So we're just going to simply slide down. Pick up this front loop and finish out our first double crochet. And second. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. So right here, very next stitch. There's one single crochet, and here's number two. Now we're going to do two double crochets over the next two stitches. One. And two. We're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. We will now do two double crochets over these next two stitches. One and two. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And we're going to end our repeat with one double crochet worked right here in the very next stitch. So let's recap our repeat. We began over here with two double crochets. We did two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and one double crochet. So you're going to keep working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. So your repeat begins again immediately by doing your two double crochets. And then to end our row, we have to start our repeat for one stitch. So we've got those two stitches left. So we do the repeat in that second to last stitch. So that's a double crochet in this case. And then we do our traditional single crochet 
right there in the last stitch of the row. Chain two and clip our yarn to bind off. So this is what our work is going to be looking like after we finish up row number seven. So you can pause here and keep working on down the rest of your row and then we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number eight. Row eight begins now. We're joined on with color A this time and our repeat for row eight begins by doing three single crochets over the next three stitches. So always working in that back loop. One, number two, and number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the very next stitch. So here's our next stitch. Slide down and pick up that front loop. Now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's one, two, three. Now we will do one double crochet right here in the center of the square, essentially. We're gonna do three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. Now we're going to do one double crochet in this very next stitch, right here. And then we're gonna end our repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. Here's number one. and two. That ends our repeat. So we're going to recap that. Our repeat began over here when we did three single crochets. We then did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and two single crochets ends our repeat. So you're just going to begin your repeat again by doing your three single crochets, and then you'll keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and then you'll meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row number nine. So you may pause here and come back when you're ready for the next row. Row nine begins now. This is what our work looks like after completing row eight. So we're now starting to see that tree shape. So we're going to move on to row nine and row nine begins by joining on with color B. So we're going to begin the repeat for row nine immediately. So we begin that with one single crochet right here in this very next stitch. Now we're going to do two double crochets over the next two stitches. So right here, very next stitch. One and two. Now we will do two single crochets over the next two stitches. So going right there, picking up that back loop only. There's one and here is number two. Now we're going to do two double crochets over the next two stitches. Back here, very next stitch. One and two. Oops. My depth perception is really off today. 
looking through the camera. I apologize. There's number two. So now we will do one single crochet right here in the very next stitch. And we're going to do two double crochets in the next two stitches. Just one. And two. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. So identify that very next stitch. One. And two. And we will do two double crochets to end our repeat. So right here, very next stitch. One. And number two. And that ends the repeat for row number nine. So we began our repeat over here when we did one single crochet, then we did two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, and two double crochets. So you're immediately going to start your repeat over, and that begins with a single crochet. And then you'll keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And you'll meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number 10. Row 10 begins now by joining on with color A this time. And we're going to begin our repeat for row 10 immediately. Our repeat begins with four single crochets. So we're going to begin working those in the very next stitch. Start with number one. There's one, two, three, and number four. We will now do one double crochet right here. Very next stitch. We're going to follow that by doing five single crochets all the way working across this section. There's one, two, three, four, We will now do one double crochet right here. Very next stitch. And we're going to move on by doing three single crochets over the next three stitches to end our repeat. So there's one, here's number two, and here is number three. So let's recap our repeat real quick. Our repeat began over here with four single crochets. We did one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and then three single crochets. So you're going to start again with your four single crochets and work on over, and then you will keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up when you are ready for row number 11. So you may pause here and keep working the rest of your row.
Row 11 begins now. We're going to start off by joining with color B onto this row, and then we're going to do four double crochets to begin our repeat. So working there in color B, we are going to begin doing our double crochets. Here's number one. Number two, three, and four. Oops. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and two. We need to do three double crochets over these next three stitches. and number three. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. I've done one and here's number two. And then we're going to end our repeat by doing three double crochets. Right here, very next three stitches. Here's one. Number two. And number three. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here with four double crochets. We then did two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, and three double crochets. Row number 12 begins now. This is what our work is looking like. And yes, we are supposed to have these little gaps here. They're kind of supposed to be like snow falling. It's in the concept that I had. <laughs> I don't know if it's translating, but <laughs> that's what those are. So we begin row 12 by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches. We're going to identify that very next stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five. We're now going to do one double crochet right here. Next stitch. three single crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, and number three. We will now do one double crochet right here. Very next stitch. And then we will end our repeat by doing four single crochets over the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. 
That ends our repeat for row 12. So now we're gonna begin, or we're gonna recap our repeat. It began over here by doing a total of five single crochets. Then we did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and four single crochets ends the repeat. So you're just gonna start back over with your five single crochets and keep working in that exact same manner all the way down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up for row number 13. Row 13 begins now, and we're going to begin our row by joining on with color B, and then our repeat for row 13 begins immediately, and we will be doing two double crochets to start our repeat. So right here, very next stitch, we're gonna do our double crochet. We're gonna do a total of two, so there's one. And here's number two. We will now do one single crochet in the very next stitch. Two double crochets in the next two stitches. one and two. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. one double crochet right here, very next stitch. Now we will do two single crochets over these next two stitches. Here's one, and here's number two. We will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. We will do one single crochet right here in the very next stitch. We will end our repeat by doing one double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So that ends the repeat for row 13. So let's recap that. Our repeat began over here with two double crochets. We then did one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. So you're gonna start back over and keep working that same exact set of stitches, and then we'll be back for row number 14. Row 14 begins now by joining on with color A. And our repeat for row 14 is going to begin with a total of six single crochets worked over the next six stitches. So we're just gonna insert into that very next stitch and do one single crochet. Here's number two. Number three. Number four, number five, and number six. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here.
one single crochet, very next stitch, and one double crochet right here, very next stitch. And we're going to end the repeat by doing a total of five single crochets over these next five stitches. So we're going to start right here in the very next stitch. One, two, three, four, and number five. So let's recap that repeat. Very easy one for this row. Our repeat began over here when we did five, or I'm sorry, six single crochets. And then we did one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then we end with five single crochets. So you're gonna start back over working your six single crochets next and continue on down in that same set of stitches. An easy way to look at this row or a cheater method for this row would be you're going to have single crochets along this entire section right here and then you will frame out around your double crochet from this previous row that's in the center of our tree. You're going to do a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet and then it's just single crochets on across. So you'll keep working in that same set of stitches and then you'll come back and meet up with me for row number 15. Row 15 begins now by joining on with color B. This is what our work is looking like. You can start to see my little, um, the snowflakes that are falling. <laughs> and we're going to begin row 15 now. And we begin our repeat immediately. And that begins with one single crochet into the very next stitch. So picking up that back loop. We're hopping in there and doing a single crochet. So now we're going to do a total of five double crochets over the next five stitches. There's my first double crochet. Here is my second. Number three, number four, and number five. We now need to do three single crochets over these next three stitches. So we're just going to begin working in the very next stitch. That's one single crochet. Here is number two. And number three. We will now do five double crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And that ends our repeat for this row. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here for row 15 by doing one single crochet. We then did five double crochets, three single crochets, and five double crochets. So you're just simply going to start back over with the beginning of the repeat. So that's one single crochet. And then keep working on down the rest of your row in that exact same set of stitches. 
and then you will meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row number 16. We've only got till row 18 to finish up this pattern, so we are in our home stretch now. Row 16 begins now. We're beginning by joining on with color A this time, and our repeat for row 16 will begin immediately by doing seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. So we're just gonna simply identify that next stitch and start working. There's one, number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here, very next stitch. Now we're going to work a total of six single crochets over the next six stitches to end our repeat. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did a total of seven single crochets, one double crochet, and then it ends by doing six single crochets. So you're gonna begin back with your seven single crochets. So essentially what you're doing is working single crochets across these sections right here and doing a double crochet at the center top of our tree so that it ends up looking like that. So pretty easy row to do. So you may pause here and come back and meet up with me when you are ready for row number 17. Row 17 begins now by joining on with color B. For row 17's repeat, we're gonna begin that immediately and it starts with four double crochets worked over the next four stitches. So we are just going to begin working our double crochets. So here's one, two, three, and four. Now we need to do one single crochet right here, very next stitch. We're gonna do two double crochets over the next two stitches. Here's number one and number two. Now we will do one single crochet right here on top of that double crochet from the previous row. Now we will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. Here's one. And two. Now we will do one single crochet, very next stitch. And we will end our repeat by doing three double crochets over the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and Three. 
So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did four double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, and then we end with three double crochets. Row 18 is a very simple row and it's also an optional row. If you wanted to move on to another pattern and do something different, you wouldn't necessarily have to do row 18 unless you needed to because row 18 is color A. So if you're picking up on another pattern and it began with a color B, if you needed to make it work with your project, then you by all means, you can do the row 18 single crochet entire row or you would not. If you are going to rewind back in this video and do another set of the same pattern, moving up and doing another full repeat of it, you do need to do row 18, obviously. Because when we finish up row 18, which is all single crochets working in that back loop, all the way down the row, when you move back in this video, you will be rewinding back to row three. And all of this is down in the description, information-wise, and also the timestamps for each and every row's beginning. So you can hop down to that description and you will find a timestamp that will take you directly to row three for you to work another set of this same design. So hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you are already subscribed. But if you are not, if you could please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. That helps me grow this channel and it is so appreciated when you participate by commenting down below or giving a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. So until next time, bye for now.